clinical trial means an investigation of either a drug, a behavior, or something that you don't quite understand. And for example, in medicine, a clinical trial, particularly in medical oncology, is often looking at, you know, what's really the best way to treat a certain cancer. A clinical trial is basically a systematic approach that has been designed to develop new knowledge. There are uh, rules, there are regulations, there are safeguards put into this. There are individuals who review trials to make sure that they are safe, to make sure that the information provided about the trial and its risks are clear. Patients who enter clinical trials have to understand exactly what they're looking at in the trial, what they would have to do, and there really has to be a lot of what we call informed consent to understand what are the goals of the trial, what does the patient have to do during the trial, what are the potential risks, what are the potential benefits. If a patient is gonna get an oral agent, this would be supplied by the drug company and it would be given to the patient through the pharmacy. So we would see the patient, discuss it with the patient, explain it, the potential risks and benefits, how to take it. You know, because sometimes you take it with water, sometimes you take it before a certain meal or after a meal. So specific, you know, to that particular agent. And then we would dispense the medication through the pharmacy, and then the patient would come back for their next visit and would get the next uh, particular dose. So it would actually be handed to the patient. If the patient was going to receive an intravenous therapy, they would go to our infusion center with our very experienced oncology infusion nurses. Um, and the doctor would order the, the drug and it would be dispensed through the pharmacy. If it doesn't turn out exactly the way they expect it, they can always withdraw from the clinical trial. There's different phases of clinical trials. There's phase one, phase two, and phase three. Some of it is looking at, in the earlier phases, looking at what are the right doses of a particular drug for a particular indication. What are the side effects? And then what's the efficacy? How good is it? Often it's actually with new agents or new drugs that may not have been tested before. And then in the third phase of a clinical trial, oftentimes we look at what is the best standard that we have now and how does this compare to that? That's a traditional clinical trial. It's really looking to improve on the current standard to try to get a better outcome for a patient. 